everybody! If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Jada and I would love for you to introduce yourself down below. While you're at it, feel free to consider subscribing. And if you're returning, welcome back. Truly, I am so thankful that you are here. My son of the day is Vafa Mocha or hashtag Vafa Mocha by 1973. It is a Profumix exclusive fragrance and I just got it today. I am so over the moon and I am so prepared to do a review behind the whole fragrance. It's truly become one of my favorites and I would love to talk about that with you guys. So feel free to drop your scent of the day down below. I would love to know. So I'm going to get right into it. These are my spring picks for 2023. The first fragrance that I'm going to be talking about with you guys is Sun Shower by Skylar. And this fragrance is, it's beautiful. It's a clean fragrance. It is definitely clean girl vibes. And to me, this fragrance just painted a very clear picture in my head. I picture myself in a meadow and there are lemon trees around and it had been raining the last few days, so the grass is all plump and everything is so green and you can smell the aroma of lemons in the air and I'm sitting at a little table by a cottage and it is golden hour, the sun is shining in so beautifully and I'm sipping some jasmine tea. This fragrance painted such a clear picture from the moment I sprayed it and it truly is a special fragrance. I definitely enjoy wearing this and this is perfect for the spring. The next fragrance that I'm going to be discussing is Irresistible by Givenchy and this fragrance I have talked about multiple times over on this channel and this is just a beautiful slightly musky sparkling pear and it's easily somebody's signature scent it's an easy reach it's something you don't have to think about and I truly feel like this is essential in everyone's collection this fragrance is just so gorgeous so light and sparkling and pretty. It's giving like, somebody that is very well put together, somebody that has direction, somebody that is able to take charge. It is just somebody that I think of that is clean and admirable and this is a very gorgeous fragrance and perfect again for the spray. The next fragrance is Arizona Bloom by Floral Street. This fragrance is so gorgeous. Even the bottle screams spring. And it is this very pretty, salty, flaky coconut. And it makes you think of salty, beachy air. And you get the coconut flakes. And it is just very simple and salty and totally takes you to the beach but I feel like it is appropriate for spring because it's not just a beach smell. You definitely are getting coconut and some other slightly woody touches. And this is just a beautiful fragrance. I honestly have only worn it a handful of times and every time I wear it, it never fails to make me happy. Just put a smile on my face. This is definitely an easy, light, gorgeous reach for the spring. I feel like Clean Reserve is always going to be a staple reach for the spring and summer and I feel like it's kind of just choose your favorite one. And the one that I'm going to be discussing is Aqua Neroli. And this one is a beautiful citrus floral. This has been probably honestly one of my favorite clean reserves to date i would have to say radiant nectar and aqua neroli are really neck and neck for me and this one is just so pretty you're definitely getting that neroli you're getting citrus and it smells so fresh so clean it is beautiful and 
I feel like this fragrance is what made me give musk another try. This is the fragrance where I was like, hey, maybe it's not musk that I don't like. It is the specific fragrances that I have tried previously. This is such a gorgeous fragrance and it is a easy reach and in my opinion a staple and when I do finish this, I could definitely see me adding a full bottle to my collection. So the next fragrance honestly was a shocker to me that I do like it as much as I do. And this is Escada, Escada Candy Love. And this fragrance, this fragrance is giving me candy apple meets whipped cream. And when I think of the candied apple, it is a freshly picked apple as if you had gone apple picking and you have prepared the sugar coating at home yourself and it is fresh. Everything is fresh, everything is juicy and you just wanted an extra little treat so you put fluffy, fresh whipped cream on top and it is the whipped cream that you have whipped yourself with heavy cream and it is light it is airy it is very beautiful and this one definitely surprised me because when I first smelled it I thought it was cute but then as I sprayed it more and more it has really begun to it has really began to grow on me and I really do think this is a gorgeous scent and it is a fun, flirty, easy reach for the spray. And the bottle is also very cute and that is a total perk. The next fragrance I'm going to be talking about is Dulce by Rosie Jane and yes, I have a large bottle now. I liked it so much that my travel spray is almost gone and I went ahead and purchased a large bottle. And this fragrance truly and simply really just reminds me of vanilla ice cream on a sugar cone. And it is light, it is airy, it's slightly musky, and it just gives me all the good feelings like hey we're transitioning out of winter and summer is coming shortly and it is a light simple vanilla fragrance and it is fresh vanilla ice cream on a sugar cone it's fun it's flirty and it's not juvenile i find this scent to be so beautiful and it is especially good for layering i think of it as a spring and summertime version of vanilla 28 it layers well with many things but it is much lighter and much more spring and summer appropriate i really do enjoy this fragrance and i don't think i ever want to not have this in my collection again that is how good this is the next fragrance i don't care what anybody says. Nobody can convince me otherwise. And this is Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. This one will always be a guilty pleasure for me. I honestly really do enjoy it. And it's berries means whipped cream. And it's just so sweet and like tonic and fruity and gorgeous and just it gives me such a happy feeling. I wear this to bed a lot and I honestly would wear it during the day as well. This is just such a pretty scent. I don't care if it's a celebrity scent. I don't care if it's not, you know, super expensive, but this is such a pretty scent and I will rep this to the end. And I, I don't want to say I'm excited to finish this, but I know that as soon as this is done, I'm going to get the largest bottle possible. I just really do love this. And again, the bottle is super cute, which isn't everything, but it's a perk. And yes, this is Sweet Light Candy by Ariana Grande. I wanted to keep it sweet and short and... I do have a few honorable mentions though. So previously I did mention Clean Reserve and I briefly glazed over Radiant Nectar and I, while I do not have a full bottle of Radiant Nectar, I do have a sample and I had worn this the other day and honestly I did not think it was projecting you know, like crazy, and I thought it was a weak scent until I felt myself move, and I smelled it. I smelled a big waft of it, and I was like, oh wow, this is gorgeous. And this is again what I meant about, you know, 
pick your favorite clean reserve because you are bound to like one of them. And this one really is giving Aqua Neroli a run for its money. I find this to be so beautiful. It's floral. You're definitely getting that nectar. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so perfect for spring. It's light. It's girly. It's airy. It's just so gorgeous. And I definitely actually do want this in my collection. I really like it a lot. And... My sample, I'm trying to savor it. I'm trying so hard to savor it. <laughs> and the next honorable mention, and this is the last honorable mention, and this is Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kayali. And the reason why it's an honorable mention and not one that I chose for this spring is simply for the fact that I just got it. I have tried it once in store and I absolutely adored it. And that was when I decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the full bottle, I don't care. Took advantage of the Sephora sale. And this is such a yummy fragrance. This is... You know, you I can understand why somebody could possibly say that it smells soapy, but I definitely am getting creamy pistachio, and I'm definitely getting, you know, marshmallow and whipped cream. It smells very sweet on my skin. It plays very sweet on my skin, and... I'm, I'm so fortunate. I feel so fortunate that it does play out that way on my skin, but this is so gorgeous and I definitely do want to give it a more in-depth review when I have some time to be well acquainted with it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. These are my spring picks. I would love, love, love for you guys to comment down below your favorite spring fragrances. And if you could, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Bye guys.